My name is Professor Philip Duku Osei. I am the Vice Chancellor of the Simon Diodondombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies. The Simon Diodondombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies is a new university established by the Act of Parliament, Act 1001 of 2019. And it is meant to be an internationally acclaimed university. So from this angle, the university invites students from both Ghana and abroad to apply and find valuable programs and courses to read, which will lead into various degrees, including bachelor's, master's, MPhil, and PhDs. We also have room for postdoctoral studies. The university has been granted a mandate, which is to establish the School of Law, School of Education and Lifelong Learning, School of Integrated Development Studies, and many more, as Council may approve. We have a thriving business school, and the uh, university, even though it's new, has this element uh, an old element to it, which includes uh, the business school and the uh, Faculty of Integrated Development Studies, which has run for almost 20 years now. My vision for the university. This university is a very complex one. As I indicated, it has both an old element and a new element. It was created in 2019 and came into being in May 2020. Our objective is to work with our faculty, the council and students to create this internationally acclaimed university. To do that, we have reviewed the old programs and have created about seven faculties. This includes the School of Law, the School of uh, Social Sciences, the School of Integrated Development Studies, Faculty of Planning and Land Management, uh, Faculty of Education and Lifelong Learning, the ICT, the Information and Communication Technology School, a computer science school basically, and many more which council will help us build. We are looking forward to creating a governance structure that is next to none which ensures that faculty is well equipped and capacitated to design the curriculum and produce the necessary cases and find evidence to support whatever teaching they will be doing. We also are looking forward to creating a staff development program which will ensure that faculty members who still have MPhil and MSc will have an opportunity to be sponsored to go for their final degrees at various universities. Some could also take these programs with our own university because we have existing PhD programs. We want to be able to do intensive research. And of course, you know that in recent times, most of our universities 
want to be research intensive universities and this requires that uh, faculty members do extensive research creating postgraduate programs that they will support and which will create the environment for in this intensive research a lot of grant writing that will result in the necessary uh, accumulation of the resources needed to carry out this research. The university has a very young faculty base. So if you look at the pyramid of the faculty structure, it is quite broad at the base. And this is not what the NAB and the NCTE have required us to do. They want the top to be heavy. And so through this research program, we're going to support the publication of research results in categorized journals, in books, so that we will be able to help our faculty members to grow to become senior lecturers, associate professors, and full professors. This is one of the aims of uh, this administration. We also have quite a number of unfinished construction pro projects, classroom projects, libraries, and student hostels. We are working with a uh, national uh, body that is in charge of uh, all these resources, they get fund to help us get the necessary resources to support it's about eight projects to get the necessary resources to complete these projects, which will increase the capacity of the university significantly so that we will be a great contributor to the president of Ghana and the government of Ghana's mission of creating education for the many and not for the few. We also, in the process, also want to internationalize. We occupy a location in Ghana that is advantageous in several ways. We are near to the border with Cote d'Ivoire, northern Cote d'Ivoire, and the southern part of Burkina Faso. And we have students registering with us in the past. We want to extend this part of our work. We create an international office and international programs which will allow us do this by extending our admissions program to the Northern Côte d'Ivoire and to uh, Burkina Faso and of course to other Francophone countries such that we will be able to bring together both the Francophone and Anglophone students in a West African community that will create a very dynamic learning environment. We have started this by employing our very first Francophone lecturer who will join us in the next couple of months. We also have started collaborations with the University of Western Canada. We have other friends in mainland France, continental France. And we are working with the Embassy of France in Ghana towards extending these opportunities that our collaborators will have and offer us. We also are looking forward to a situation where our faculty members will be able to attend conferences Attendant to publications is a need to disseminate our research and make sure that knowledge is generated 
and extended to West Africa, to Africa, and to other parts of the world. So being able to support our faculty members to attend international conferences will be a useful instrument for us in the area of extending the scopes of the knowledge of our faculty members. We look forward to building a very dynamic university, internationally acclaimed, with the support of our council. And we know that our council is solidly behind us in the pursuit of these noble aims. We know our prospective students have certain expectations. So we have built a website that has enabled online applications and admissions processes. We are able to save their details and process them very quickly and give them results. So by this, we, we don't want them to toil when they want to uh, contact us. We have created an environment on our new website for that. We also are in the process of creating a student's accommodation unit within the Office of the Dean of Students. This is to help potential students coming to WA, the Upper West Re Regional Capital, to find accommodation that is suitable. So the university will set up this office and give it the capacity to be able to garner useful data on hostels and other kinds of accommodation within the regional capital and its environs to help the students who will be coming for face-to-face -face lectures. We also have created an online learning platform which will enable our students. And of course, in this COVID era, not every student can make it to the campus. So we have intended to do what we call blended learning so that the online learning platform will offer us an opportunity to reach those students who might not in, this, in these uh, current conditions want to come to the campus itself to uh, attend lectures and uh, access other resources. We have also created an online uh, information system through the library system that we have. So we have electronic materials that will support also the learning processes of continuing students so that they wouldn't have to struggle to find materials to read. Because we have joined the Ghanaian uh, library, uh, academic library systems. We call it in brief CALIC. And this is to help us lay hands on electronic materials at a, a lower cost than if we were attempting this on our own with our own resources. So the pooling together with the Ghana CALIC is a very important aspect of cost reduction for us and we hope that the results or the benefits will be very useful to our students who will be joining us very soon.